Hello and welcome, this is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more of the Total Conversion Mod of Slar Star Trek New Horizons. And we just built an outpost here, so let's get in, grab the construction ship, and start building. And I guess we'll just start with the closest thing right here. Oh. That's right. <laughs> the science ship has been sitting around not doing anything for a while, so we'll just have it come over here and research this anomaly. Yeah, I did that stress distress call and then I forgot all about that science ship. All right, uh, we should be good to go. You know what? That is going to be a, a ship there. We should probably send the fleet over. Oh, you know what? This combat strength is gone. Oh, you know what? Yeah, there's two ships here. Why did that ship not go in this fleet? Oh, there's a fleet size limit. I was not aware of that. I don't think it was in the game last time I played, so... We've got three Intrepid class and five Emmet class. I think I'm going to remove one... I think this is how you do it. Is it split fleet or transfer? Let's say transfer ships. And we're going to grab one of the Intrepid class. That's in a new fleet. And we're going to grab... The Enterprise fleet. We're gonna do the same thing. So I want uh, the Explorer out, and then we're gonna grab the first and third fleet. No, I'm sorry. The third and second fleet. We're gonna merge the. The second and so this is confused. That's the intrepid. I think I hit the merge button. Maybe it takes time for it to merge. In any case, uh, the enterprise. I would like to go over to Vega. And then the first fleet is just going to sit around, and we're going to build that up. Uh, and then the second fleet, once it's merged up, take time. You're staying. Three wanted. Is this kind of like a? Uh, so I was not aware that would be a thing. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, let's reorganize. I guess I just accidentally did what I. Okay. So I'm learning a little bit about this game. So I I wasn't aware this would be a thing, but now it's three of three. So that's fine. And then here. I'm not really sure. I mean, does that only pop up when you have an Admiral? And why are these numbers red? All right, well, that's something I'm gonna have to play around with. But the second fleet, uh, we're gonna send to, uh, so the uh, the Enterprise is over here. Let's send it over to uh, New Andoria. It kind of puts it on this side in case anything happens with the Romulans or the Klingons. It's our most powerful fleet, if that makes sense. Uh, put it to orbit. And then what I'm going to do is I'll build up the third fleet so that it's a functioning fleet. And we'll probably get an admiral to put in there as well. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's uh, look to do that now. The recruit. So whoever here is the most promising. Uh, okay. Honestly, I think I'm going to go with Admiral Webb, just because of the younger of the bunch, and also... Admiral Webb has a more interesting ability. These two just have experience and uh, lifespan buffs, but, you know, considering there's an 11-year span of difference here, half of this ability is already used up. So we'll recruit here, and you are going to be in charge of the third fleet. 
probably I will shuffle around the command. As a matter of fact, it makes more sense to have the more experienced commander in charge of the second fleet. And then maybe have Webb in charge of the Enterprise. Uh, I'll keep it for now, but might be what we eventually do. Okay. Oh, and Third Fleet needs to be in orbit. Rather than just sitting there. I mean, it's only a difference of a little bit of space, but, you know. The icon makes me know what the uh, ships are doing. Okay. So we're just kind of keep an eye on this stuff. Uh, build things up a little over time. Oh, hello. You just expanded. Again, a lot of territory, but only two colonies. That's kind of wasted size, whereas we have a lot of colonies in the space that we have, or at least that's what I'm attempting to do. Okay, so that's done. Trillium D, Impulse Thruster. Uh, well, we've got bonuses to both of those things. I think I'm going to go with the Impulse Thruster, even though I am tempted to do Trillium D, but we don't have that resource, I think, anywhere within our system, so it's not really something we have to jump and do. Uh, we might need to do it to eventually progress, but I want the Impulse Thrusters just because it's going to upgrade our ships. Okay. Stress Call. Oh no! Okay, uh, so Altair 4, so that's Altair there. Uh... And am I going to have to send the sign ship over again? All right, well, it makes sense to do these. Mission log updated. So I'm going to grab the sign ship before it jumps. We're going to send it to Altair because we don't... And we are on a time limit. It's not a closer sign ship, is there? My one sign ship's down here, the other one's over there. Yeah, this is the closest one, and they're currently not doing anything. So we'll just go ahead and research project. And then we'll go ahead and uh, queue up the anomaly so I don't forget, because we could have probably had that done if I had remembered. Okay, let me uh, take a real quick look, though, at our vassals. So do they still hate us? They kind of still hate us. But we should. They are being integrated, so that's good. They are a vassal. Uh huh. Okay. There's not really anything else we could do to them, either uh, other than offer them a trade deal, which doesn't make any sense because uh, they have worse technology than we do. At least they should. It would make sense from a standpoint of getting them up to our tech, but if we're just going to integrate them, it doesn't matter. So. And that's peaceful. We're being peaceful. We could also come in here and enlighten these guys. Uh, here. Fortunately, we were a little late on integrating the others because... Uh, they blew themselves up in here. As a matter of fact, we could build a mining station there. Now that that's not habitable, habited, inhabited. We can talk, I swear. Uh, oh, we do have a resource in here that we would want. So enlightening them may... I mean, it's going to be a slow, slow uh, process because they are in the Renaissance. At least they were last I checked. Let me double check that. Oops, that is not what I want to do. Yeah, they're in the Renaissance Age. Okay, we built research stations, so we're going to want to do something with that. And we have other scientists at level four. 
Okay, construction ship. Like you to just go build here. I mean, it would be a weight off my mind to just do this. But I do concern myself sometimes with not having resources I need, so I'm not going to drop any lower than what I where I'm at right now. Okay, research. We've got the new sensors. Uh, I may want to take a look at those. Um, so we've got a new component, signal jammer. Uh, okay, minus ch uh, eight percent uh, or eight chance to hit. Uh, Starbase influence cost minus five. I'm gonna go ahead and do the transport hub. We put it off long enough, and it's a fairly cheap tech, so we'll go with that. Uh, I am going to look into talking to the Saurian League now. How far are we are? The Deltans will say no. Alright, so we need to talk to the Deltan and get them to not hate us. Stay with them. So the main thing is getting them to like us more, and the biggest problem is the distance. Uh, but we can try and get things going. So we're going to give them some resources that we are not using. Accepted, and let's see where that gets us. Not sure it got as much of anywhere at the moment. It might take a little while for it to tick, though. So we'll wait on that. This is definitely going to be, you know, I'm trying to do things diplomatically, so it's going to require some wheeling dealing to get things done. Well, this is looking like a good system. Okay. They are offering me that and that for their dilithium. I'm going to say yes because I actually could do with the minerals. Uh, and I am I have three process dilithium, so I'm assuming that I can trade some of that away. Curious if that is going to affect my naval capacity. Let's see. We will agree to it. And it's a monthly, right? Or is it just a one-time deal? It might be a one-time. System survey complete. The system survey is done. Let's start doing system surveys of planets that are kind of like in between. But what is the deal here? 80% habitable to humans. Okay. So resource rich and it has a habitable world. I think that is well worth putting an outpost in. So that will be a priority. As soon as this construction ship is done with what it's doing, it's right nearby, we'll go ahead and build an outpost. We've got the influence, we've got the resources, so might as well use them for that. And we will sell, save the resources for that purpose. Speaking of resources, having them, uh, we are going to have too many resources now. Um, where would we be beneficial and I mean we could just keep pouring it into the deltan but I have a feeling that you know there's going to be probably a time span so we could try and give it to the tamarians I mean I don't think that they're going to say no to us just giving us giving them resources again we're going to give them quite a few I mean energy credits are kind of useless it's, it's not a whole lot they're going to do with that um, speaking of doing things, uh, Vega Prime still being worked on, unfortunately. Uh, and I don't think we have any other blockers to clear. Nope. All right. Okay. They have taken the gift. Okay. These guys are sizable, so if we could get them in a coalition, that'd be nice. Of 
Fortunately, it's size without substance, much like the Saurians. Colony established. Okay, we've got the Vega Prime colony. So we're going to start clearing blockers because we want to do that. Now, again, I could put in the governor to give me a reduction in cost, but, I mean, we have so many energy credits. Who cares? So... Mm -hmm. Get rid of all that. Okay. Now let's go in do the research. Uh, so we got that new natural resort, which I probably am going to want to build on Earth and possibly some of my other places. I also have a building to upgrade, I'm noticing. Um, okay, so we've got Controller Anarchy. This is a specialization tech. It's very expensive, too. We've got... Uh, Fear of control. Okay. And then we have the army upkeep one. Frontier philosophy. I'm really tempted to do this one. Now, how would I roleplay uh, Star Trek? I mean, because if you think about the original series, uh, it's probably more anarchy, right? I mean, the the state of of the frontier, because I mean, that's it was all kinds of stuff going on with uh, the Enterprise in that series. And even during the Next Generation era, I wouldn't say it improved much. So that's, uh, that's interesting, but it's so expensive and it takes so long to do. I think we do the cheaper tech first. Maybe that's a very rare tech and I should have done it, but... Um, is my one science ship uh, still working on the distress call? Or did that... Did we do that one already? Oh, no, they're working on it right now. Okay. Well, let's find out what it's going to be. Research project complete. Okay. So, distress call. Arriving at the source of the distress call near Altair 4, the USS Intrepid has come across a Delta and freighter. Answering the hail, the captain of the freighter appears shoveled and injured. Thank you for answering our distress call, Captain. We're carrying deuterium from that place, and it looks to have been contaminated with unstable hydrogen 10. It exploded and destroyed our secondary cargo bay and damaged our engines. Engineering team dispatched to the vessel was quickly able to repair the freighter's engines. Before leaving the freighter, Captain... I'm sorry, before leaving, the freighter captain offers the contents of the damaged cargo bay as thanks for being rescued. While civilian refineries would find it difficult to process the remaining deuterium, the United Federation of Plans itself has a number of facilities and so on. Uh, so we can, the Delta unit is great, uh, Union is grateful. We get 500 energy credits. And then they get, uh, assisted freighter opinion. Or, no reward. Uh, I'd rather have the influence, honestly. So, we'll take that. Uh, and we still get the Delta Union liking us, which is actually good, because that's who we're trying to impress. So, let's take a look. Uh, Gnostic and Tribes has declared a Klingon Empire's rival. I thought they were already rivaled. Well, good luck on that, Gnosticans. Uh, the trade, uh, the trade deal with the Saurian League has timed out. Okay, I thought we just did that, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, so we are going to want to talk to them on that. But before we, you know, let's just do that now while I'm thinking about it. Oh, we can join their coalition. Let's do that first, because that's more important. Uh, so, ask to join coalition. Uh, it will cause us influence, which is fine. Um, yeah, we'll confirm. Now, again, this may be a bad idea. I'm not sure. We'll have to see, uh, once we do this, uh, with our next uh, Federation Council meeting... If we can try and work with these guys, if we can't, then I know immediately that this is a mistake and that I need to leave. 
So we'll see, but I will confirm. It'll turn us this awful green color, but I guess it's a change from the blue color we've been. And let's, of course, just process Canadian that. Empire has established communications. Okay, so we're going to have a bunch of stuff popping up. Let's go ahead and go through this. So, yay, we finally met the Cardassians. So we're going to get some influence from that. Uh, let's see. So I don't expect to like them to like us. So they're xenophobes, authoritarian, and militaristic. That sounds like them. Greetings from the Cardassian Union. We look forward to diplomatic contact with your people. In the meantime, however, we insist that you avoid our space and respect our territorial sovereignty. Okay. Well, it doesn't really matter what we say. We could learn much from each other, sure. And then we're going to have the same conversation, perhaps. Oh, okay, so we've got Benzarians. I'm not sure if I remember 100% them, but maybe I'll notice them by uh, sight, so we'll see. Okay, these guys. Yeah, all right, and that's another next generation race. What do you mean we all look the same? How rude. We are the Benzarian Commonwealth. And we are pleased to make your acquaintance. I see by the design of human vessels that you aren't as meticulous in your design as we are. That's that's kind of funny callbacks there. So those those are callbacks to a couple different things you see in uh, Next Generation. So they are pacifistic and fanatic materialists. Well, I think egalitarian is uh, the opposite of materialist. So we'll say uh, xeno uh, xenophile pacifist because that's them as well. We greet you as equals, Star Travelers. Okay. Uh, Valerian. Okay, that definitely rings a bell. Uh, I'm not sure I uh, recognize their face, but I represent the Valerian Freeholds. Our elected leader, Clan Speaker Southern So, hopes for peaceful relations with your people. But know that we are more than capable of defending our way of life. So they are militarists, but they are egalitarian. Okay, so I'm wrong on that. You can't be both materialist and egalitarian. So with this, we could learn much from each other. Okay. So that's that. Let's take a little bit of a look around. This is a little bit longer video than I normally do, but I, we just have a lot of things just happen. So I think it would be nice to look at some things. Uh, I would like to rename whatever the coalition we're in. Bright Concord, that's nonsense. Um, so all this is now green. That awful sickly green color. Um, so we've got the... What are these guys called? The First Federation. Oh, okay. You guys are first, I guess. Um, Valyrian Freeholds. The Troll Administrator... Well, they're already there. Cressing Union. Now, did we meet the First Federation? Well, we met three people. Well, let's just go ahead and go through it. And we'll go in order of... Who likes us? So, Sarian League. I find it interesting that Deltans like us more than the Sarians do, but I guess it's the assisted freighter thing. Okay, so the Val Valerian Freeholds, where the hell are they? Yeah, that's them. Okay, yeah, yeah okay. They really like us, so that's good. Uh, we may be able to swing uh, them into something right away. Uh, although, we do have to keep in mind that we may already have some relationship. Yeah, so we have associated, uh, association status with the Benzarian Commonwealth, which I haven't found yet. Where are they? I'm not sure I know. All right, we'll just keep going here. Uh, so they're here. And where are you guys? Oh, you're right there. You're just a little guy right there. All right, gotcha. We knew there was a planet there, so I guess that's not too surprising. The First Federation... Okay, so we did not actually get any contact with them directly. Now, what's their deal? Ah, they're probably a fallen empire. Okay. But they don't hate us. They just probably don't want to have anything to do with us. Okay. And then the Cardassians. Well, they don't hate us either. Uh, but they're not probably ever going to love us much. It's going to be kind of similar to what we have with the Klingons, and I expect a closed border with them, perhaps. All right, well, that's that's not too bad. Nobody that we just met hates us. As a matter of fact, we only have uh, the Orion Free States being our main person that probably really doesn't like us. And then the Trill, I mean, once we stop rivaling them, they'll be fine, so... Okay. Well, I'm going to have to see if the Federation Council allows us to do anything. That's going to be our big... 
thing that we have to see. If it doesn't, then I'm going to have to leave this uh, particular uh, diplomatic arrangement. But it does put us in a very powerful position here in the center. We've got uh, two empires that like us and a third one that probably will join the coalition soon. So that's a lot to work with. And then from there, we'll have to see. But again, a lot of it depends on if the coalition I'm in right now, because I'm not the founding member, I'm not the controlling member, maybe I can't do stuff, but I don't know if it really matters how you join the coalition. And if that's the case, then we're in uh, a good spot, I think. In any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.